After a rough day traveling, we finally made it into the country. We were in Shanghai, and today we're going to be meeting some locals, trying some food, walking through the city, and making our way here to the skyline of Shanghai. Welcome to Shanghai. Today we're going to be walking around the streets, making our way to Shanghai Tower. I have no maps, no data on my phone, so we're going to have to rely on the locals to help us make our way there. But it's just going to be my first impressions walking around the city, taking a look, checking out some food, meeting some locals, and trying to learn some Mandarin or Chinese. I've uh, I learned a little bit last night. I flew in. Very big day yesterday. It was a pretty rough rough day to be honest. I'm gonna put my hat on because it is a little fresh out here and anything to keep slightly warm. I haven't packed on this trip for a uh, look at this little rubbish man little shop set up but I haven't packed for uh, cold weather exactly. Ni hao ma. Ni lao ma He's looking at me wearing shorts. <laughs> I'm from New Zealand. But yeah, I didn't really pack for a cold Shanghai, China. I didn't expect to be coming here. So it's quite cool. I feel like I'm in a dream or something. But the area I'm staying in is quite cool because there's so many little shops, food shops set up, little intersections with anything you can imagine. I kind of know my way around. I'm gonna roughly guess and head out to the main street. You can see, oh, what is this? Tea or something? Ni hao ma. Is this tea? Tea? No? You can see it's just like a little convenience shop. Ah, uh, oh, this is wine. Wow. Okay, I'm okay. Too early for wine. We'll continue on. But yeah, it's about a, uh, Brisk, I was gonna say it's about a 10 minute walk. It's probably like an hour walk, so we're gonna see a lot of stuff. The Chinese that I've been learning is Ni hao ma, Ni hao ma, which is how are you? Hello, how are you? What is your name? Uh, where are you from? And there's a few others, but I need to properly learn them because I voice recorded them, but it's gonna take a while to properly learn. So we'll just walk up the street. Hopefully I won't be told by security or police that I'm not allowed to film. Hopefully I can. Check this out. City bikes. That could actually be so much fun. We'll get one of these later. Once we explore around by foot, we'll grab a bike. I think we have to get an app or something. It's like an H. Oh, there's the app there. I just don't have any data, but I guess we can find data too and get some Wi-Fi on our phone just to make it a little more practical and easy to walk around. Look at this. The big iconic Chinese signs. Ah, oh, I walked out here last night. So we have Pandora, Eminem, so much stuff going on. And then I got these kebabs over here as well. If you see my uh, chaotic arrival into Shanghai, you know what I'm talking about. Check this out, this is the kebabs I got yesterday. So come up and have a look. Ni hao ma. How are you? So you can see we have beef, mutton, chicken, pork. I'm gonna come back later. I'll see you later. <laughs> that was so good. And I was like, oh, this is meat. Not safe, but it was fine. And it's more of just a snack here in China. And I'm holding the camera on like a pole, a stick. So hopefully it doesn't look too suspicious. Something you'll also notice too, because I talk so much. Oh gosh. It's about a solid five degrees right now probably and I'm wearing shorts. Is the amount of cameras set up all throughout the city. If I point the camera anywhere, you can probably see on screen. Camera's up there, camera's over there. Just literally everywhere. Hello? Ni Oh wow, what are these? I think we have to try something. Wow, skinned oranges or like What's the other ones? I forgot the name. What is this? Orange? Ah, I think I need something hot. Thank you. <laughs> I was keen, but 
Wow, look at all these. Sugar coated strawberries, grapes, kiwi fruit. What on earth? It's like a little market set up. We'll walk in. Ni hao ma. Ni hao. Wow. So much going on. I'll we'll ask these people in here for some directions. Oh, it's like a little shop. Ni hao ma. Do you know uh, Shanghai Tower? What? Shanghai Tower? This way. Thank you so much. <laughs> Friendly, some friendly locals helping me navigate the city. So I was actually going the wrong way. It wasn't that way. And we'll talk to some uh, police as well. Directions is the best way to go about it because other than that, I can't really have a conversation with them. But look up here, wait till you see what these guys are driving. <laughs> little buggies. That's the most Chinese little thing ever. Definitely all electric as well. Something uh, I noticed when I got into the city since I'm luckily staying right in the heart, is that, what on earth? It's such a quiet city. There's the cars, which are pretty much 95% all electric. I've only seen like one or two petrol powered cars in the city. You can see like billboards for them, so they're obviously promoting them. Must be Chinese brands. And then look at this, the scooters. You can't hear a single engine. All these that are coming past are electric. Shanghai, China, you only have electric scooters. Look at this. Oh, talk to this guard. Try to have a conversation with a policeman. Hello. Uh, Shanghai Tower. Oh. Just to uh, Shanghai Tower. Is it, oh, it's just straight in that way. Ah, okay. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. All right, cool. Super friendly. Oh, I came down here last night. There's a guy who takes photos with these cars here, or this car. Looks like an old Chinese mafia or something. More chicken skewers that you heat up. Ni hao ma. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ah, skewer. Ah. Ah, chicken? Chicken. Beef. Beef. Yes. Uh, pork? Yes. Ah, wow. Okay, yeah. later. I'll come back later. Thank you. Uh, wow. Squid. Ni hao ma. Oh, octopus. <laughs> uh, how much for the octopus? Oh, 35. 60 for two. Okay, tonight I come back for dinner. And these, I saw these drinks as well. Look at this. Wow. Ni hao ma. So it's like cream and then you get a liquid on the bottom. It's this little panda. Cream and juice. Ah. Ah. Mm. I'm going to come back here tonight and I'll get it then. Thank you. So the car's got like these fake rifles and stuff in it. It's so strange. Something a lot of people wonder with uh, traveling to China is like, is it safe? What's the, uh, obviously, with the tensions in the world right now? It's probably a fair question, but so far, it's everyone's been so friendly and nice. Oh, there's people over here pointing their cameras at something. What is it? Ah, must be a big watch sign or something. Here's the street, you can see some electric cars. We have Teslas, scooters. Ooh. Oh, he is prepared for winter. Apparently it's illegal, I think, or not. Uh, people don't really want cars to horn or whatever, or to honk. Because uh, trying to be the silent city, or at least quiet. These are petrol powered gas, uh, got a rubbish truck though. I just need to. Uh... Ni hao ma. Oh, hao. I fine, thank you. How are you? Fine, fine, fine. You speak English? Little, little. Ah, oh, little, little. Uh, Amazing. What way to our uh, Shanghai Tower? This way? Shanghai what? Tower. Tower. Tower is here, yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, how do I watch a oh, picture? Picture? Do you want to watch better near? Do I want to watch a picture? No, well, no I want more the picture, yeah. You don't want photo? Watch a better, you look okay. Oh, he's walking into me. Yeah, look at him. What? What? This, this, near, near, yeah. Ah. Ah, yeah. Oh, to the fake markets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe later. Where is it? Okay. 
<laughs> I'm just filming Sh Shanghai. Shanghai. I don't think he wants to be on camera. Oh, what is this? What's this building? Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. What's the name? I'm a park. Here is Pai new. Ah. It's very, yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. That's beautiful. Beautiful, you like? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, thank you. Wow, look. They're making some uh, big building and the park's all blocked off. Must be uh, making something. Alright, still. Look, think about it. Yeah. Price. Maybe later, maybe later. Oh. <laughs> he definitely wanted me to come in and check out his market or something. Some sort of like anime shop. All sorts of figures set up. Obviously, quite a good market here. It's uh, Shanghai being one of the busier districts and main financial places. Not as big as Beijing. And there's also another city which uh, is GDP is like 499 billion or something. Crazy numbers. You can see there's a Jordan shop. So a big American brand here in Shanghai. And then we'll walk down the side street soon. Oh, this is actually a crossing. I just walked out, but luckily the hill stopped. If we can find a Lawson or a 7-Eleven, we can go look at all the snacks. Look at this. The Wellington Universe. Wellington, that's the capital of uh, New Zealand. Wow, what is this? Yama. Holy shit. So random. What? Love hearts? Maybe they're like messages or something. The water does not look... I mean the steam makes it look hot, but I don't think it's that hot. Oh, you must be able to get yourself drawn. That would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, Omar. You, uh, you draw? You draw? Uh, color, no color, ten. Color, ten. Ten? Uh, 30. 30. Uh, no color, ten. No color. Uh, ten. Color, ten. Oh wow. Oh, that is tempting. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Shanghai, China. Let's draw ourselves. 30 yuan is around 4 US dollars. So you can see he's done quite a few. It's just a random little alleyway in Shanghai, China. People probably think I work here. Nyama. <laughs> okay, so the guy's away at the moment, so we will come back. Ni hao. Ni hao. Oh, they smell good. It's a mango. Mango. Wow. Oh, is that, oh, it's a drink. Tea. Ah, tea or? Yeah, tea. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That's so nice. Wow, so that's mango. Yeah, mango, rose. Rose. And this one? Cherry. Cherry. What else do you have? What are these ones? Blueberry. Blueberry. It's a green tea. Green tea. Oh, healthy. <laughs> Could I do a strawberry tea? Huh? How much? 1.5 you in? One gram. I might do one. One Please. Okay. You want that? One bag, how bag? Oh, could I just have a cup? Uh, a cup or a cup of tea. 200? Just drink? Yeah. yeah. So is that 1.5 UN? Yeah. 19. Okay, so it's nine, so 19 for yeah. one cup. One cup. One cup, 19. How much is that? Oh. I might just taste, can I just taste the blueberry? Okay, so it's about $5 for one, so I think I'll just taste. Ooh. Keychains. 
Just stand in there. Talk to us for a little tea. Oh, wow. Some beads. Ni hao. Ni hao ma. You can buy some beads? You eat? Ah, you make bracelet. <laughs> Yeah. I won't see, I won't see. Wow, later. He's got a microphone. Hello. Can I speak? Can I speak? Okay, thank you. Alright, his friend didn't come back for the painting, so maybe we can try that another time. But. If you look up ahead, we have the iconic Shanghai TV building or something. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's pretty cool. We'll have to walk over there at some point, maybe today. We have the old leader or something. Maybe that's Zuo. Zuo? I think that's his name. I was watching a documentary about the leadership here in China last night. And it's quite interesting how... Uh, the whole uh, way the Chinese government is set up, the first time ever leader is ruled for more than eight years here and uh, currently with the current leader. No shortage of cameras up here. Look how many there are. That is crazy. And here we go. A good view of the skyline here in Shanghai. So right on the stretch here, we have multiple poles set up. One, two, three, four, five just in this 100 meter area and each one has about five to ten cameras on it it's absolutely insane like so unnecessary but obviously all the people here are tracked right now i'm being tracked since the moment i left the airport i've most likely been given a number and followed this entire way but who cares when you have views like this that is pretty amazing we have some what looks like sand being taken out possibly they're dredging something making a new island somewhere you'd never know the water doesn't look too inviting i definitely wouldn't swim in there i just can't get over these cameras it's in uh, it's insane a lot of uh, chinese tourists visiting from all around the country okay we can see the camera operators in action this is the behind the scenes setting the cameras up here in china you can uh, see all the stuff that's going on. You can see all the Yama seeing all communications. You can see them setting up the cameras. Don't think they want me recording. It kind of gives a sense of like safety because obviously there's millions of people and they're not gonna constantly watch. It'll be definitely AI powered. Okay, I was just listening to my Chinese learnings or recordings and Nilais Anani, Nilais Anani, where are you from? How much when you're asking for a price? Do a Shao Chen. I need to keep learning and I actually put it into practice. But I think that's the basics, as long as you know the basics. You can get pretty far in a country and get some good reactions. So we'll try it out very soon. Look at this, there's a car that looks like a BMW, but it's not, it's a Chinese brand or something. What the heck, we have Teslas, a Chinese brand, another Chinese brand. And look at these cars, they're pretty cool. Pretty interesting being in a city which is completely quiet. Obviously, I think Shanghai is quite a modern city. Compared to like, a, say, a city in the States, it's definitely a lot quieter, a little more peaceful. Like, literally in the middle of an intersection, you see Teslas. Cool having American cars here as well, which look pretty cool. And it's just silent, like I could talk over the road and you'd still be able to hear me. Everywhere I look, just cameras, cameras, more cameras, no privacy in China, that's for sure. Lots of security as well. And you can see it's almost full or awesome here in China. I think they have all the seasons. All the leaves are starting to die, starting to fall off. Interesting crosswalk signs as well. It's like a little statue. There's lights on it. Oh, there's even a camera. You can see us. There's even a camera on the crosswalk. Little symbols cleaning up the city. It's all like individually picked up leaves. That's so strange. You can see all these older buildings which are most likely built 
close to 100 if not more years ago. Businessy looking people making their way into the last Nihama. Nope, I must have said it wrong. Don't want to be tripping here on the streets, but just up ahead I have found a family mart. So, pretty similar to 7-Eleven. You can go in there and get any type of snack you can imagine. So we'll go and have a look. And it's a nice part of the city, so they'll have all the good things as well. But so far, similar to Tokyo-ish, kind of. Definitely has that China feel to it. I don't know how to explain it, but we'll have a look in the family map, see what's going on. We'll go to the crossing. Nice cars though, coming up. Alfa Romeo. Oh, hot pot. Look at that. We'll go for uh, a meal with the boys in the next video or later on, but Family Mart here in China, Shanghai. The iconic sound of entering Family Mart. What can we find? We have literally everything. Look at this, like beef strips or something, pork strips, dried meat, you have Snickers. China version. Oh, here's the uh, ice cream that we saw earlier. Such a good snack. Too early though, so I can't be eating that. Even wireless headphones, Pokemon pencil sharpeners. I don't know what that is. Let me know in the comments what this is. You can get all these sort of snacks here. Look at this. Fried chicken, chicken legs, like crumb chicken. Wow. Sausages, corn, little snacks in here as well. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is one of the strangest things. But in China, Coke is the only place in the world that has a different label here. So you can see the Chinese Coke label. So strange. It applies to both the sugar and sugar-free one. He's saying that there's one right there with cola. So maybe, I don't know. But this is like the shelf of dreams. You have your sandwiches. What's this? Pork rice ball or something? Little rice balls. Meals you can just heat up and eat. Oh wow, that looks tasty. And compared to Tokyo, they only have it in Chinese, so I don't actually know what I'm eating, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna get a rice ball. Individually wrapped bananas. That's so un like necessary, all the plastic. We'll try a Chinese Snickers. All these like dried fruits. Mango. You can even get chicken feet. Or pastry or something. Little cakes. I'm kind of looking at this. I don't know what these are. I think it's like cream or egg. We'll try it. We'll try the chocolate one. Hello, are this chicken? Beef. Beef. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll have one. I hope it's beef. I guess we'll find out. Thank you. This, the money's quite cool. First up. Chicken. Beef. Beef skewer. It smells okay. Not bad. Very tender. It's actually quite good. Not much spice. More like herbs and some sort of marinated sauce on it. So cheap. And if we look at the price, 31 Chinese yuan is $4.30 US. You can see down here for all of us. So, it's pretty good. That's the thing, like you won't, you don't have to go buy a crazy expensive breakfast or like it's quite easy to find this sort of thing. So we have the rice bowl. I think you eat the seaweed with it. Chicken. Cool. Okay, now for this chocolate thing. I don't know. It's like a pancake crepe on the outside with cake in the middle. Mm. It's like a little chocolate cake. The iconic street lanterns. Whoa. Let's cross the road and head back to the picture, picture dude. No shortage of nice cars here in Shanghai. Lots of, uh, probably lots of business people and high profile sort of people roaming around. Okay, we are back. Let's see if he's here. Yeah. How are you? 
啊、ah, ，OK， 这可惜啊，对，啊 ，OK， 要戴帽子吗？可以戴吗 ？Maybe I can wear this. Okay, we've got a crowd. Ni hao, ni hao ma. It's a crowd. Ni hao. Ni nice ni nani. Ni nice ni nani. Sorry. Okay. I won't speak. Or else you won't be able to draw me. I can't see it, but I'll put the camera over so you guys can see it. I think we'll just scrap learning the Chinese for now. It's gonna be pretty funny. I think it only takes like two minutes. He said. I wonder how long he's been doing this for. You can see all those crayons. Is it good? It's good. Everyone's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> Is it good? It's good. Must, that must be terrible. <laughs> oh, no one speaks English. So you can see, he's done quite a few, uh, quite a few people. I wonder if there's any famous people. Oh, whoa. Oh, so he hands it over, and then he colours it. Oh my god! Starts with the cheek. He starts with the highlights, and then I think he's going to blur it or something. Yeah, look, he puts a thing on his finger. He puts a thing on his finger and just blurs in the colour. Still got a crowd. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. And this is only like seven, no, only four dollars US. So, pretty cool. You can see all the different colors. We've got yellows, pinks, reds, blues. And if he wants to make a different color, I guess he just like mixes it together. I'm actually quite happy with how that turned out. That's good. That's very really good. It's amazing. Ah, uh, cash? Okay. So maybe we give them a little bit more. We've got the cash, but we'll make sure we'll make sure we're happy with it before we I think I'm gonna be pretty happy. Oh he's got the blue. Oh he's even got the puppet jacket as well. It's colouring in the hair as well. I think that mold is half hair that all the blows on it, it gets all the dust off, doing some highlights around uh, around us. Okay, I think it's done. Let's see the final result. It's getting put through now. So that means we can take it home, I guess. Or we can, we can gift it. No, I don't think anyone wants this as a gift. Oh, oh my god. Ah, thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Good? Good. Okay, thank you. One person said it's good. Here we go. Okay. Thirty for our man. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Okay. Cheers, cheers. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Is it good? Yeah. Good? And yeah. Yeah. Cheers, cheers. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. New Zealand. New Zealand, thank you. New Zealand. Okay. Hello, hello. Cheers, cheers, cheers. There we go. All drawn up. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Cool. I didn't realise I. I probably need to have a shave. Jeez. Ah, in Singapore. Yeah, it's nice. What do you do in the? Oh. Been a pretty cool first look into Shanghai, and I'm going to be doing a lot with some more guys here in Shanghai over the coming days. But as always, thank you guys for watching. If you found this interesting, <laughs> be sure to check out another one. A lot more videos from Shanghai coming. So we'll see you in the next video.